I'm going to share with you a bit uh, part of this. Um, can we call it as a technique, but not not really for the um, for the whole research project we are doing now in Edinburgh. But um, yeah, but uh, this is uh, what I think and what I know about um, during the process. Um, so it's uh, about simulation, and the problem is. Uh, hydrodynamics. We are doing a project on uh, tidal energy uh, uh, the, uh, off the coast of uh, the UK, and um, we are using a uh, finite element uh, numerical model. Just let's dive in. So uh, we know that uh, the modeling landscape has expanded quite a lot um, during the um, the decades, the past decades, as we started with environmental modeling, just in 1D or 0D to be precise, uh, that's uh, input uh, to the model and the output. And it's just like a black box, uh, we can see. Um, but uh, but that's very simple, yeah. But it doesn't uh, address the changes in its face. So, they have to expand uh, somehow to another full full 2D or 3D cases. Uh, like you see on the left-hand side figure, uh, we evolve from the 0D to 1D and then uh, atmospheric model, for example, they build a stack of boxes uh, shooting uh, 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 vertically on the atmosphere. And then they gradually build a model for the whole globe. So it's very, uh, yeah, it's very sophisticated, sophisticated in terms of space, and uh, also the process involved are much uh, more complex. Okay, so you see on the right hand is from the Excel from the books of uh, Shetland, and we have the um, radiation. Um, uh, from the from the sun, we have the exchange between the land, in the ocean, and atmosphere through the fluxes fluxes of energy of mass, and uh, 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 interaction between the different columns of uh, atmosphere, which is uh, shows that uh, precipitation, rain, and snow. There's chemical transformation and physical processes, so it all adds up to a highly dynamic. Uh, system which is uh, can only be uh, represented by a, a numerical model, and that's how they are doing in high performance computing, like the EPCC here in Edinburgh, uh, high performance. Uh, yes. um, but for this talk, I will just um, narrow down to the model of uh, ocean only. Okay, so uh, the ocean modeling is not new at all. Yeah, it's predate uh, the time of the um, pro programs on computer where they got it using Fortran. So what did they do traditionally? They uh, gather scientists, researchers to write uh, Fortran code, and uh, they fit some input here, uh, make a configuration file. On the left hand, uh, show some screenshot of the uh, model, the two models, Swan and Atzerk. Swan is for the ocean waves, and Atzerk is for the tide at the sea. And uh, you see the configuration file is not, not really understandable. Yes, they, they do have some comments here, uh, here and there to explain what the parameters are. Yeah. But uh, imagine you mess up the order of the lines. Yeah. You put the first line or the second line, uh, and then the, the fourth line code simply misunderstood. Uh, they uh, they either 
and read the wrong parameters or they read an inf insufficient number of parameters and then raise an error, which is not good. Yeah. So um, they have identified this problem and then, okay, so they say that, okay, I just keep the solver, but I have to redesign the input uh, as a dialog so you can, in and so can input the parameters. And uh, they also provide a, a visualization and all of this they put into a sheet, software sheet. Most of them are commercial. Okay, so still uh, we are interacting with the input and the plotting process. Yeah, we can modify the input. We can, uh, we can, we can uh, uh, plot and then we can zoom in and zoom out and see different uh, sections of the data. Okay, but the solver is, is kept and batched. Okay, solver cannot be uh, cannot uh, be changed. Yeah, which is okay for certain types of problem, for example, for design of uh, the coastal structure, offshore structures, they don't have to, to, to change much, to worry about, about much, but the uh, solver, yeah, because the physical process are quite contained in that as uh, uh, spatial scale and time scale. Yeah, they don't have to worry much about that. But uh, uh, the, what's different is in the CFD, Computational Fluid Dynamics Community, yeah, they have to deal with a broad range of problems. Yeah, as small as uh, multi-phase flow, uh, material science, for example, yeah, up to the scale of the ocean geophysical fluid dynamics. So what they do is that they have to offer the user, yeah, uh, usually a research scientist, to pick out the relevant processes uh, in, in, in the model so you can run it yeah, uh, properly. Okay, so uh, I show here uh, example from uh, open form uh, and uh, a similar dolphin code. Yeah, so um, these are all object oriented and component based. So it's a bit forward from, from, from the configuration file of, of Fortran that we show above. And the file you see on the right hand, for example, the structure. Yeah, they have some structure here. Yeah, you see the commands, the assignment, and like a small programming language, like a domain specific language here. That the, the user can specify uh, here the geometry of the problem. Yeah, and the geometry conforms to a specific standard which can be visualized by a uh, software like uh, Gmesh. And this can be fit in the program in the middle. You see uh, the program Dolphin. Sorry, I yeah, I let it uh, float to the yeah. So it fit to a, a program Dolphin. Yeah, you see that they have uh, also the, this configuration file. Yeah, you see the the there's keywords here and. Uh, yeah, it's, it's slightly more readable than the uh, um, <clears throat> than the configuration file above. And uh, we, I believe that we can switch uh, some uh, um, uh, the order of the lines, okay, as, as long as it, it, it builds up the complete system that the object-oriented framework can, can read from it, that is fine. Okay, on the left, also in on open form, you can see uh, to solve this is classical a uh, classic uh, uh, example in open form. They just say that okay, this is a, a navier stock uh, equation. Uh, you, you have uh, different terms uh, represented by, by a partial deep differential equation, and these terms can all be yeah, can you write written in the code? Yeah, so yes, it's exactly yeah. You, the user can modify can include the, 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 the terms here. For example, okay, so this is, I want to solve this navier stock equation. Uh, which terms does it have? Yeah, it has the convection term, so uh, plus FPM, diff, uh, so you see the diff uh, operator here, phi uh, u, okay, you have the, um, you have the regulation term, yeah, uh, the minus first master's term, Laplacian, and U, uh, which represent the diffusive term. Yeah, 
And then you have the fourth thing on the right hand side. Yeah, so this is some kind of uh, syntax is, uh, resemble the, the, the equation itself. And yeah, they are very, actually they are very proud of this uh, improvement. Okay. Yeah, so uh, yes, actually in CMD they have done some, some, some improvement there, but we're not there yet. Yeah, uh, there are different, there are still other attempts to, 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 to do in uh, ocean dynamics. And uh, they introduced this models steer with, with gold, yeah. Um, so I, uh, there are a lot of, pro, uh, of solvers, such solvers, but I, I only present you three solvers. Uh, first, the Anuga on the left. Yeah, the Anuga is uh, developed by the Austria yeah. um, National University. Yeah, so they, they they did this in uh 2006, I believe. And uh, what did they do? I would think that this is the first uh, significant Python code. Yeah, Python is scripting. Yeah, language not compiled, not C, not for Tran, not in for speed, but in for readability. That you see, the commands are very friendly. Yeah, and then the the users can not only um, um, specify the uh, parameters for, for numbering for parameters, but also they can specify functions. Yeah, functions. It's very important uh, to do functions in, in, uh, in the boundary conditions. Yeah, because functions here can be uh, pure math mathematical functions or to be read from a file. Yeah. That is a lookup table, yeah. So, uh, so you will see that this specified function set the function to the to the domain, and then uh, just uh, uh, invoke the, the 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 simulation by the the what could say yeah the iterator yeah domain dot evolve with this in step and final time yeah which is very readable. And on the right, yeah, on the right, I move it to on the right first. Uh, this is the uh, Javis CFD uh, code that can be used uh, for, for, for ocean modeling. And what do they do? Yeah, this is an attempt. I think uh, the chief architecture of Javis is a very good programmer in C. So they adopt the C style uh, to write the code. Yeah, so it's you see that this is pure C, not C++. Uh, you see that this, uh, the defined macro here and some uh, curly braces, yeah, suggest that you, you can specify uh, that function and the balance and uh, for, for different uh, uh, events in, in the simulation. So the concept of events are very important because it can uh, uh, specify how the loops are carried out. Yeah, uh, I will mention to the checkpoint later, but yeah, here we just compare with the event. And they improve, yeah, uh, Jerry's to the Basilic uh, C, which uh, now it look more like C. We have the intimate here. So it's kind of mixed between the predefined C functions with the, 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 the basilic, yeah. Uh, so this make up a very special language, both these very expressive and very uh, structural, yeah, as well. And you see the C style uh, of the um, printing the string, but you can also see the matrix manipulation uh, via a, a, a special for each, structure that operates on basilic so i think it's very uh, well 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 craft piece of software that they have and most recently uh, on the left on the lower left you have the we have the ocean anigans which is written in julia program so the julia uh, language is uh, like python i think it's very similar to python uh, but you can see that they can input some unicode uh, symbols here, which make it easier to 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 write, and also um, uh, they can uh, 
use the GPU to compute. And this GPU is very special and that it can uh, make, it, it can allow the, 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 the engineer to, to specify how we run the model. Yeah. We, we, with, uh, with the GPU, it's very, um, uh, very powerful and it is right on the hand fingertips of the uh, programmers uh, of the users, which is very great of themselves. Um, so to Greg, uh, to society, Greg Wagner, uh, which is uh, the chief engineer of Ocean Anigans, yeah, the, the purpose that they, they use this is not only to um, uh, to, to, to make the to let the, the programmer evolve involved in the process. Yeah, but actually the, the, the runner, the simulation uh, are also programmers. Yeah, and then they write script, write programs to run it uh, rather than just the, uh, con uh, preparing the configuration files. Yeah, so that move to, so this uh, use uh, the Thetis uh, model uh, which is written in Python, but I think they are doing some very great uh, attempt here. Uh, and uh, you see the clearly the structure of the Python. And uh, similar to Anuga there, uh, they have called the, uh, create the model object first and then called iterate. Now for the full specification of the Fidrack and Thetis, you can look at the uh, yeah, uh, com documentation. Um, so this is the uh, project that we are doing. Uh, so in in this pro project, uh, Iliad Tidal Pilot, we have deal with uh, long simulations. Yeah, to do that, uh, we also have to specify the um, input configuration. But the input here is written in Python, and we can also do it uh, very flexibly. Yeah, we can also specify the function as we see above. And we prepare the run from, from the uh, static condition to the fully developed C uh, through a RAM function in the middle uh, to prepare the simulation with typically a last month, yeah. month simulation time, not CPU time. We uh, prepare the hot start for that. And uh, it will be uh, uh, really, uh, we have to, 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 to record lots of data for that one, um, which leads us to the next. Yeah. And uh, another issue is not long, very long simulation, but we have many scenarios. For example, how to calibrate and validate the model. We want to refine the model so it best represents the ocean dynamics. So in order to do that, we have to uh, identify which metrics we use. So we carry out a series of runs here in this diagram, three runs. And after each run, we have to uh, get the output and then we have to think, okay, so is it represent well the, the condition and we have to make a rough plot, scatter plot. Okay, we have to tune the parameters so that uh, the data point collapse to the uh, diagonal line, which uh, is the best case. Yeah. So uh, doing so have to, we have to re reiterate uh, the pro process for several times. Yeah, uh, uh, sequentially. Uh, on the other hand, we can have uh, multiple simultaneous uh, uh, runs, which on the right. Uh, so um, in the middle, you have uh, seen here, we have 10 uh, sites, uh, 10 different cases for different sites, uh, case studies. So we can run it uh, parallel, in parallel. So we can populate the folders, different folders with relevant data to run it and then collect the data on the right, you see. Um, it's another case for another project, but we uh, have to prepare this kind of table with these contours of, you have lots of small cells here. Each cell is one, one run, one simulation, right? So we can 
uh, make it to run it uh, in parallel. Yeah, you see that uh, the, uh, to, to to estimate the flooded area, the cost, yeah, we have to run it and then we assemble the result and then we just let them to see. So, um, and also for that purpose, we prepare some pre-processing and visualization is not uh, ready built into this, but we have to get it and we, uh, visualize it part of view. You can play the, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Clip here, you can see how the uh, tides, uh, how the tidal flux get in and out of a uh, uh, seven barrage. And uh, also, we make some uh, plot of the tidal uh, plot like this, this one. And all of this software is uh, uh, maintained in the uh, central repository, which different branches of different cases we run. And we try to dockerize it to make it uh, more deployable. No, thank you very much. And the, the question is, are, are the CFD packages that are presented interoperable with each other? Like, can you use one with the other or not? Um, Should that be the case? Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, it, it depends uh, because our problem in, in our project is uh, independent, it's uh, just the thesis, but in the other cases, for example, for the ocean wave and tide interaction, they use a uh, swan and also which is uh, inter inter interoperable. Uh, and uh, I believe that uh, the the other can it can can be be used in conjunction as well. For example, my colleagues here in Edinburgh, they use a swan and Tetis. It can uh, it can pull the the output. From from Swan from a coastal model to fit into Thetis a final model so that they can uh, assess the influence of the ocean wave on how the tidal varies uh, near the coast. So does it answer your question? Yeah. F finally, which uh, which of the packages that you presented is your favorite? Ah. Um. I have. Uh, yeah, uh, for this uh, Python base, I favor the Tetis uh, title package, which it can be 3D and uh, 2D as well, very flexible frame based code. And for the old Fortran, I think Swan is just my favorite, Ben Fortran and very fast. Yeah, and it's it's uh, number, just numbers uh, configure, but uh, I think we can expand. We can extend much about it. Thank you.